I'm Tyler. Today I'm going to show Hi, you how to tie I'm your shoes. I'm Tanner and I'm going to teach you how to tie your shoes. <laughs> Come on, little scaper, let's go. Little known fact. <coughs> shoes are usually made out of rubber and cloth. And sometimes a little bit of hard plastic at the tips of these. Do you know what they're called? Wanna take a guess? I don't know either. I forget. Now I'm not gonna get into the technical details of how the shoe was created. That is up to the manufacturer. Not sponsored. So I'm gonna, just gonna teach you how to, the shoe works properly. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Now, the shoe has one hole for entry. The foot slides right into here, yeah? And the shoe fits nice and snug, depending on which, of course, how big the foot of the person who's going this is. Now you see, this shoe, if you look right here, is a size 11. Holy mackerel, this kid's feet are huge. You know what that means, ladies. Now, oh yeah. <clears throat> Real kind of sad now about the shoes. You know, the whole feet thing. Yeah, I'm sure it's alright. Score, score bucks with the teacher, maybe? Maybe a chuckle? Sure. sure. Let's get right back into it. So, this is our starting position. Of course, we have your two shoes here. The laces are white, of course, while the leather is uh, a nice and nice black. Is that as you can The manufacturer is from Vans. Not the sponsor, but if you want to sponsor, I could use the money. And now, I am going to show you specifically the steps in which you need to take in order to make sure that your shoes are nice and snug upon the person's foot. Okay? Okay, let's get right into the first step. Step number one switch camera. Now, these shoes are ready to be entered. You gotta... <laughs> I'm gonna puncture these shoes with my foot. Now how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this foot Put it into that shoe. You ready? Bam! Step one done. On to step two. Don't you forget it. This doesn't distract you from the fact that in Jurassic Park, the Velociraptors actually were not Velociraptors. They were a thing called Dionychus. You can tell because Velociraptors were actually and technically way smaller than perceived on screen in that movie. You don't believe me? Your childhood ruined? You sad over the fact that I just explained to you and destroyed your entire childhood movie? Well, you can screw off. That's how you tie your shoes. Any questions?
Farewell, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this educational video on how to professionally and amateurly tie your shoes. You better get a good grade for this.